Hey, my name is Rustin with Fine Pigtails, and uh, today we are going to do a uh, video on a deep pin and repin of a connector. All right, so we're going to do a, a deep pin and repin of uh, one of the most popular connectors. This is part number L43A2. Um, if you ever worked on a Honda or Kia, you've definitely seen this connector. It's used for the fog lamp pretty much on all of them. Um, now you've got the DRL as an option, the daytime running lamp, and so that does change it up sometimes. So you got to be careful. You always want to make sure it's the two-pin fog lamp is what you're ordering if you're ever needing one. Um, and that's this one, L43A2. So to do a D-pin, we're going to have to remove our back lock. This is what puts pressure against the seal and it actually also holds these wires in place. Um, just a little bit more support, keep them from breaking at the pin itself, just in case there's movement on this connector. Um, you've got four little catches two on each side and we do have to pull these up and uh, pull up each one. You can use a screwdriver, use your hand, whatever you want to do. Use a screwdriver on this side. You can kind of pop them and you see it just pops right off. Pretty simple. Slide that off the back. From here, this one's it's pretty easy except for the catches are kind of far down in there. Might take you a second but um, if you take your screwdriver, whatever you're using, and you put it against the pin and then slide down in there you should be able to feel when you make contact with the catch. So here we're going to go ahead and take our screwdriver, we're going to make contact with the edge of the pin, slide down in until we feel it hit that catch. Once we hit the catch we're pulling it outward away from the pin so get it, get it to release and then you're going to simultaneously while pulling that catch pull that pin backwards just like that. This one even takes me a second sometimes just because it's kind of a pain. If you if you can use a flashlight, a headlamp, and look down in there at the same time, you'll kind of see what you're doing a little bit better. So I'm sliding down in there right against the pin. Feel when I make contact with the catch. Pull the catch away from that pin. And then you're just going to pull your pin backwards. Like that. And that catch is catching right in here. So you can see if you had tension pulling that pin backwards, it would actually put pressure on that catch, which is kind of what this one does, and it makes it a little bit harder to remove. So again, being able to look down into it and see those catches and what you're doing with that screwdriver makes it real easy. So here, if you want to reinstall them, of course, pretty basic. Just make sure you got the pin turned the correct direction. So here, catch grabs right there, catches on the outside of the connector. So orient this pin correctly start installing it and you'll hear that click once it's locked in position that means you've got it all locked in that catch is holding it correctly same deal with the other pin once you hear that click you can even pull on that wire just a little bit make sure it's caught look inside and make sure that those catches are completely flush up against the pin so you know it's not the pins aren't going to slide backwards over time from here we'll reinstall our secondary, our rear lock, and this one, it actually has little grooves cut out for each wire. So you just kind of put them in the right spot and then lock it in position. Make sure that all of them lock down just like that. And then your wires are reinstalled. Either the factory wires, if they were still good and you're able to swap them into our connector, or if you just wanted to remove the wires so you could do the uh, splice and solder the wires for the repair. But that's it.